Hey everybody, welcome once again to Kojo Tutu Live. Um, now, over the period, I've had people ask me how I started photography, all that it takes to get into photography, and how to become a successful um, business person with regards to photography. And so I thought, why don't I share my experience with you guys? I am not there yet. I mean, with photography, every time you are learning, every day there's something new to learn, and there's something new to learn from people in the industry. And so we are constantly learning new things in photography. But, um, I must say that I have experienced at least for the past eight years. So I'm going to share with you my five basic principles, I would say, um, be, you need to know before getting into photography. So the first and foremost thing I would say, um, if you desire to want to get into photography, is passion. You know, passion drives desire. And if you don't have the desire to want to wake up every morning to do something worth it something that excites you something that brings you joy then what's the point so for me my number one thing i would say is that you should have the passion for it you should have the heart to want to um do something nice to do something beautiful something that is within your comfort something that drives you every day would wake you up every morning on your feet to want to get better at it so if you ever dreamt of or wish to get into photography the number one thing you should bear in mind is passion now the second thing I would say is that you need to learn the skill of photography yes it might be a talent it might be a craft but then also it's an art which needs to be developed over time okay we all constantly are getting better at our crafts at our skills um, and the skills of photography is no exception you will need to learn a lot okay when you come into the industry when you get into it sometimes you are um, confused as to which niche of photography should you settle in over time you know as you develop as you learn from other people you'd realize that you are finding yourself within a particular space to function and so learning should never be an exception you can be learning from other people as well be following photographers for me it was the number one thing I was following photographers I mean I have a number of people I followed up until I really got to stand on my feet to do things for myself now there are various platforms on which you can learn from you can learn from online um, YouTube and thousands uh, thousands and thousands of videos out there you can learn from people who are already into it who are already making it work while you're learning um, it gives you the time to also save up you know to get your equipment um, for equipment and gears would I would want to delve into that on a different um, on a different video but for now it would give you room whilst you're learning the skills you would learn to also um, use photography softwares um, editing softwares and all of that you would need to learn it if you really desire to want to get into photography so my third pointer I will say is that you go ahead and start shooting um, whilst learning I believe you will also with the mindset of starting photography you will also have to start um, do getting some budget to get a camera you know an entry-level camera that doesn't cost much you don't need to um, in fact you don't even need to buy a camera if you don't have to okay you can borrow from friends from family or if you can afford it then well, why not just go ahead so if you can borrow go ahead and borrow my uncle had a, a camera um, it was a, a Canon 550D that was what I started with okay and I started shooting shooting everything and the best place to start with is church the church is like the place where there are a lot of people you can shoot them people are dressed every Sunday they want to take pictures they want to uh, keep a portrait and all of that Trust me, church is the best place you would ever want to start photography, um, gatherings, and if you're in school, I also started, for me, I started also in school, back in like level 200 was when I started photography, I was shooting friends, I was working with the SRC team, and that was where I, I built up a network of friends whom I have 
taking pictures or who had seen me take pictures and these are the people I developed um, the re a relationship with over time and to date trust me they are the very people who call me up for jobs who call me up for assignments engagements weddings I mean you just name it because I developed that relationship with them and I was shooting them for free when I started it was not no charges you know nothing money had nothing like a business thing in mind but then just for free they gave me the time to learn more about the skills to make the mistakes that i needed to make to get all the wrong settings handling the camera a lot of errors had a lot of as some of you would go back onto my like my facebook page initially i used to post on facebook but then later on i stopped I mean some old images Facebook keeps reminding me of some old images I look up, I look back at them and like wow did I really take this picture okay but then all of these pictures started with like just a heart for it and it was just free taking it free and building the relationship from the very onset shooting everybody shooting everything that comes my way okay roaming at um, programs functions and that is where for me I built my network that helped me into my next point which is to start the business now to start the business i would say go ahead to register a business if you really mean to get this thing serious go ahead and register the business as a limited liability um in another video i would want to talk about the business of like registration and it's like should be another section but then um i would say go ahead and register it as a limited liability because you would start business you will get clients who would demand like invoicing who would want receipts and that is where it might become a problem for you and so if you're willing to really take it further as a business and not just um, a hobby then i would suggest that you go ahead and register it as a business and i would suggest you begin with a limited liability it keeps you on a safer side okay in managing now my fifth point i would say is that you scale up now scaling up here means that um you are you started the business it's running slow and all of that you are now thinking about you know getting on more clients i would suggest to you that the best place to ever get clients is at functions like weddings um corporate gatherings this is where you need to like build a network of clients you know propose to them the things you do what you do with photography if it means like giving some free offers giving discounts giving running um, um promotions and all of that to build your business to build your clients base go ahead and do it and you can only do this things are like wedding vendors i would have business cards always in my pocket okay sharing to other people especially to like vendors the catering guys the um, bar guys the um, food makeup the I mean all of the vendors you'd ever see at a wedding all of these people I made sure that I had their um, card and I also give them my business card as well and then also when you take pictures you have to make sure that you tag them or send them mail them the pictures as well let recognize them or acknowledge them on the pictures these are some of the things that get your um, business scaling up and then it also like allows people on the outside to see you so thank you guys for sticking with me I hope you guys enjoyed this session um, hope to see you in yet another video which nature photography should you settle in